G'day, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. I know I've been spending a lot of time up in this top shed and not woodwork, but metalwork, but I'm really enjoying it. And it is all to do with woodworking. What I want to do here, this is my lathe. Now the compound slide, which is this part here, is what I actually make the tapers on the harp pins with. And uh, they're just test ones I've been trying different ideas. There's a couple of ways I can turn the taper. I can offset the tailstock down here. There's an adjustment that will pull it out, create a taper, or because that's a bit of a problem, setting it back up. Or well, the other thing I've got is a sliding tailstock that goes in the tailstock and then I can move it this way and turn tapers but with both of those options I'm actually working between centers so I've got to take these jaws out and put a morse taper in there center and one here and then I go offset the other way I can do it and it's my preference is to spin this table around and get a compound angle by using this compound slide I can then use the chuck and the tailstock and just wind it in using this wheel here. The problem with that is, as you can see, it's not very big and you've got to do three or four passes to get the correct taper. So what I want to do is fit a motor to this so I've got a direct drive and I can control it and because I've got a lot of them to do, it's going to be easier to do. It's a uh, pin bridge or bridge pin that I'm also working on. But what I've got is this little circuit board here with a variable speed switch and a forward and reverse switch. And at the moment, the power source I'm using is just a 12 volt battery charger. This is a 12 volt system and this is, I believe it's a curtain motor for opening your curtains automatically. So what I've got to do is take these handles out of here and then I'm going to make an aluminium boss. This is what I was using previously. I took these handles out and then bolted this on and used a screwdriver gun on the end of it but really it's a bit ratty and uh, it's not nice to do you don't get a nice smooth feed so I'm gonna have to make another boss to go up here I'm gonna cut this shaft down and then slide that onto there I can mount this into here and I've got a couple of little grub screws there which I will drill into a shaft here and tap it and that can lock it on the flat portion of your drive and that should all bolt up nicely okay so in order to do that I've got to get a bit of aluminium that size don't have any as I spoke about in a previous video when I was making um, the die holder this thing here I'm actually going to melt some metal down and cast it into a round billet that I can then use to set up on the lathe and turn it for the boss that I want to go on this motor and then drill a hole so the shaft can go in, tap it so this can go on. So I thought I'd show you the whole process. I know it's not woodwork but it's just another discipline of something that you can do and for very very little cost you can actually do a heap of good things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around to my mini foundry, but before I do that, I'm going to put gloves on, full length leather apron, because you do not want to get splashed with a bit of hot metal. Um, someone I know in the last week was doing exactly what I'm doing, only they were wearing thongs and shorts and sleeves and not not good very bad accident so i'll only um generally you'll see me 
mainly just having one glove because that's what I'm holding. I need a free hand for doing other stuff. But I do have two gloves. And I will also have a face shield. Now what I'm going to be doing is melting aluminium. They're aluminium horseshoes. I'll take you over there in a tick. But before I do, I've got to make um, a mould up so I can cast this. So let's go to the metal section. Get an old bit of um, bed frame. I think I've still got some there. We'll cut it up and then we'll go over to the, what did I say? Foundry. And not really. It's just an area of the shed that I've got a melting pot. But anyway, let's go. Here's part of an old steel tubular bed frame. What we'll do is we'll just cut a section of that off and that will do as a mould, I think. Actually, I might cut that bit between there and there. If I can get four inches, I'm going to be happy. I reckon that's, that's a bit over four inches, but that'll do. Not cutting exactly square, but cutting square enough. That's it. I'll just go to the grinding wheel and knock those dags off. There we go. Clean enough for our purposes. Not worried about the rust on the inside. Any flaky stuff will come out. It'll be good. Okay, let's go over and grab some horses. 